All right, so what is going on, guys? Welcome to a brand new episode of this build series of the Land Cruiser 80 series. I hope you guys enjoyed the previous episode where we went through Nairobi to Nakuru with the brand new coil springs in this vehicle, the upgrade that we made. It did really well, and now we want to answer an important question, which is how efficient was the vehicle and uh, how much did we consume? How many liters of petrol? did we consume over the 280 to 300 kilometers that we did and how much did it cost us so stay tuned let's head to the petrol station let's make those calculations let's fill her up basically what we're going to do we had a full tank before we left so we've consumed some petrol so the plan of action is basically to go to the pump fill the petrol until the pump does the first click and we'll stop there We'll see how many liters it takes and we'll do our calculations. So stay tuned. Hit like, subscribe, comment down below. Welcome to all the new subscribers and enjoy. All right, guys, so we're just pulling up to the petrol station right now. Pulling up to an Ola. Get ourselves some fuel in us. Uh, there's a bit of traffic. This place is just always full of traffic. What an irritation. Crazy. So we filled up the tank, guys. We got 8,558 shillings, 43 liters. So let's calculate that and then we'll calculate our consumption. All right, guys, so we filled her up. 44 liters is what went. So I can calculate that in shillings. But basically, this 44 liters that has been used up costed me about 8,558 shillings. And um, it's taken me 300 kilometers, according to my dash. So let me do a quick calculation and tell you what it's costed us. All right, guys, so I've done the calculation. I think it's pretty reasonable, you know. I wouldn't complain too much. Let me just get these lenses cleaned up. So basically, we did a total of 300 kilometers to and fro Nairobi to Nakuru and um, we consumed 80 uh, sorry we consumed 44 liters right so 300 kilometers traveled and we filled up 44 liters so I just did the calculation it comes up to actually 6.6 6.8 kilometers per liter 6.8 kilometers per liter on uh, highway driving on a journey on an overlanding trip so pretty good we didn't do a lot of you know off-road or dust or any of that but 6.8 kilometers was my average so let me tell you how much it cost me how many shillings it cost me per kilometer so if we do the calculation we paid 8558 shillings we got 300 kilometers of uh, journey and so it actually comes out to approximately 28 shillings per kilometer so there those are the facts for you that's how much i consume guys i don't think that's too bad considering i had the 4.5 liter 1fz fe i had a great time and uh, yeah, I just don't think that's too unreasonable. You guys tell me, comment down below what you think. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. So we filled her right up. So we're just gonna zero this out now. And on we are again for the next journey. Now, usually within the city, when I do more city driving, that average is obviously gonna drop. But at least you know that you can expect up to seven kilometers a liter. Um, when you're going on those overland trips and I do have a two inch lift kit and I do have 33 inch mud terrain tires So think about that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed hit like subscribe comment down below and It's Masai Gaines checking out So there she is guys two inch lift you guys can see these are a fat Good old grip mud terrain mud track 285 75 16 tire and honestly the vehicle did really well I'm happy with it so far with the build So, you know, 6.8 kilometers per liter average with the big old 80 series with the fat mud terrain tires. You guys tell me what you think.
So there you have it guys, proper uh, test and giving you the fuel economy in this episode. Um, you got to consider that we're running these fat tires and the way the vehicle looks. I honestly think it's decently impressive. You guys let me know, let me know what you think because I definitely think 6.8 kilometers per liter is not all that bad. And uh, I just wanted to show you the engine. So of course I've got my trusty 1FZ FE. It performed well. Um, my brake fluid was a bit overfilled and that's why you see some spillage. It had to let go of a bit uh, because there was too much uh, brake fluid. But apart from that, the car performed well. I really need to get an air filter, but the car did well on the trip to Nakuru. I'm sure you guys saw that. Uh, the 1FZ FE, this is our power plant, the 4.5 liter inline six petrol. Um, I am gonna get it cleaned up. You know, there is a bit of oil that you can see, a bit of oil collection on the engine, but it's, uh, it's nothing too significant and I'm not particularly losing oil. Uh, the dipstick is still plenty full of oil and, and uh, we're okay over there. So I will get this engine cleaned up now in one of the episodes so we can baseline it again, but all in all, it's, uh, it's performing okay for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did, make sure you hit like, subscribe, comment down below. For all of you that are following this build series, I hope you guys are enjoying the regular uploads and you know the stuff I'm putting onto my vehicle. I hope you can learn something from it. So anyways, it's been a quick episode today. Fuel economy is always important to test, especially when it's a petrol and especially the diesel guys. I guess the diesel guys always want to want to know what how you're managing with a with a petrol engine, so this is what it is.